हरी हरी हाय कौशिक हाय सर कौशिक यस सर Now it will come, yeah. Kaushi, can you speak now? Yes, sir. Kaushi, can you speak now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, just a testing. Yeah. Hi, Prince. Yes, sir. How are you, Princey? Yes, I'm fine, sir. Can I have one book? Is the old one, yeah? New one, yeah? So, yeah, in the last class, yeah, we went through finding out zeros, yeah? If, if the graph is given, how can we find out zeros? So, So do you have the textbooks with you? Uh, I think Princey has the textbook. Kaushik, what about you? Yes. Yes. You have textbook, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. So can you? I think it's a page number twenty-seven, example one, and uh, it's a figure six. Page number twenty-seven, example one. It's a figure six. Can you say how many zeros are there in figure six? <clears throat> one second. Sir, so page number example. Example one, page number twenty-seven. It's a new text. Okay. Page number twenty-seven. Yes, sir. So there are uh, six figures are there, no? In example one. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So in, in example one and uh, figure six. So how many zeros are there? So four zeros. Four zeros, yeah. Yes, sir. So can you tell me the definition of zero of a polynomial? Uh, so the the line which. Um, the line which touches the x-axis or which intersects to the x-axis is a zero of the point. Uh, yeah, if it is a degree one polynomial, what you are saying is right. The line, but if it's a degree two or degree three, the curve won't be line right. It can be curve or it can be any. 
please. So what is the formal definition of a zero of a polynomial? Let's say P of X is a polynomial. So what's the so value of the polynomial is zero. So the value of the polynomial is zero. Oh uh, yeah. It's a, X, X at which the value of the polynomial is zero called uh, the zero of the polynomial, right? The value of X. The value, let's say if P of X is a polynomial, the value of X at which the polynomial value becomes zero is the zero of that polynomial. So you are clear here, Kaushik, yeah? Yes, sir. So, Prince, what about you? Like, uh, you, you know, right? How uh, the graph is yes. how to find out zero? Yes, sir. So, if the table is given, do you know how to find out zero? Sir? If the table table is given instead of graph, the table is given. Okay, sir. Do you know how to find out zeros? Um. The x in the x um which one is showing zero? Okay, let me let me give a table and tell me the. Okay, sir. So here, uh, how many zeros are there? There are three zeros, sir. Three uh, zeros? Uh, um, the, um, I think two zeros, sir. Yeah, like, so what is the value of zero? Two zeros? Um, zero and two. The, one, is, one is zero? One is zero, another is two, sir. One is, other is two, right? Yes, sir. Yes. This is the one. Sir. This is the one. Yeah. Yes, sir. So basically, yes, sir. we need to see p of x. p of x equal to zero. So we need to take corresponding x value. This is zero of polynomial. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So we need to look at p of x equal to zero. Where it is zero. And we need to take corresponding x value. That those are the zeros of the polynomial. Okay, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So also in the, in the graph also. So let's say we need to see. So this is the graph. So here, uh, Prince, can you say how many zeros are here? Six zero seven zeros, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Yeah. Here seven zeros are there. Yes, sir. So So now, yeah, you are clear here with uh, finding out zeros. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. So it can be a variable, can be x, variable, variable can be t, variable can be s. That can be any variable. Let's say polynomial can be p of x, polynomial can be p of t, polynomial can be p of s, or polynomial can be p of y. Okay. It can be any variable. It can be any variable. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, the P says that a polynomial of X. Polynomial in terms of X. P of T says that polynomial in terms of T. Yeah, it's a, it's a basically a function. P is nothing but function. Or F of X or U of X or P of X. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's say if... <laughs> yeah. 
so what is the basic uh, basic uh, uh, formulation of the degree one polynomial p of x equal to ax huh? huh? ax plus p very good but degree two friends can you tell me degree two x square yeah plus p plus b square plus b, b square square b square b x square plus b square or only kaushik That's B X B X plus C. Yeah, so degree two, yeah. Oh, okay, yes. sir. Uh, now you tell me degree three, Princey. A X cube plus B X square plus C. Plus C. X. B X plus D. Oh, okay, sir. Clear. Yes, sir. So here a must not be equal to zero. Here also a must not be equal to zero. Here a must not be equal. To zero. So here in the degree two, if a equal to zero, what happens? Rohit, the degree two polynomial, if a equal to zero, what will happen? Very good. So it's not a degree two. It will, it will become degree one or less. That's why we must ensure that. A must not be equal to, yeah. Hi, Hari. How are you? So, So example 2.1, yeah. You are with example 2.1, uh, Princey and uh, how you like how six, uh, how many finding out zeros? Uh, okay, uh, Princey, can you tell me like one, two, three, how many zeros are there? For example, exercise 2.1 for the first one, sir. Yeah, first one, uh, page number 28. Yeah, uh, yeah first, first one, no zeros, sir. No zeros, yeah, yes, sir. Second one. One zero, sir. Uh, third one. Three zeros. Three zeros. Very good. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Kaushik, yeah. Fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. S sir. Fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. How many zeros are there for exercise two point one? The fourth is fourth is two. Fifth is uh, four. Uh, sixth mm. is three. Three, sir. Three. Yeah. 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 Very good. So now you are you are clear. If the graph is given, how to find out how many how to find out zeros? Also, what are the what are the zero values here? Yeah? What are the location of zeros? So uh, come to table two point two. Yeah, table two point two. Can you tell me how many zeros are here, Princey? So page number, please. Uh, page number twenty-five, table two point. Yeah. Twenty-five. So that you can see that. Sorry. So twenty-five. It's a linear equation in my books, sir. Oh, I think yours is a old one. Yeah, old book. Yeah, you didn't have a. No, book, sir, yeah. my in school new book only. I think so, sir. It's okay. My school gave me on. But yeah, oh, no. what the, the the book that I have seen with you before is the old one. The contents are changed now. <clears throat> okay, sir. So okay, I'll just uh, write the equation, write the table here. You can tell me, okay? Okay, sir. So Anirudh, you are also clear, yeah?
Yeah, this one, yeah. So minus two, zero and two. Minus two, zero. And two. So these are the location of zeros and uh, there are a total, how many zeros are there? Three zeros. <laughs> Three zeros. Also, let's say if a polynomial of degree two, polynomial of degree two, so at max, how many zeros can be there? Okay. So when I ask you at max, so you should give one value. So polynomial of degree two, at max, how many zeros can be there? Two. At max, two zeros can be there. Yeah. It can be one also. It can be zero. Also. Yeah. So this one is clear, uh, Renzi and uh, Kauzi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the polynomial, polynomial of degree two, it has at max two zeros. <coughs> so if it's a polynomial of degree n, then it 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 has at max how many zeros? Polynomial of degree n n one zero. Polynomial of degree n. So at max, how many zeros will be there? Sir, n number of zeros. N, right? N numbers, yes. <laughs> so at max, n will be there. Yeah. The polynomial of degree two at max two will be there. Degree three at max three will be there. Degree n at max n will be there. So we, we have seen no for, for degree two. Yeah. So let's say degree two means so what, what is the polynomial called? Quadratic polynomial. So let's say it can be like this. So here, how many zeros? No zeros. No zeros. Also, it can be like this. No zeros. Also, it can be like this. Yeah, just it's touching. One zero. So also, it can be like this. Again, one zero. It can be like this. Or it can be like this. So these these are with no no zeros. These two are with one zero. These two are with two zero. So these are the possible graphs of quadratic polynomial. <coughs> So now let's look at exercise. Let's look at uh, section two point three. Relation between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial. Relation between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial. So let's consider degree one. Yeah, degree one. What is the p of x? x plus b. So how to find out zeros? By the factorizing midterm splitting methods. But uh, this is the this is not a quadratic. No, this is just a. <clears throat> if, if that's a quadratic, you need to use a mid, mid, midterm splitting. Oh, but it's not a quadratic, okay. right? Okay, sir. So just you need to equate it to zero, yeah. X equal to minus b, x equal to minus b by a. Okay. Yes, sir. For degree one, zero is minus b by a. Yeah. Yes, sir.
So for the, for degree one, at max, how many zeros will be there? One zeros. One. So let's say this this is the case. How many zeros? One zero. <clears throat> yeah. Let's say this is the curve. So here, no, no zeros. Here, one zero. <coughs> Clear? <clears throat> yes, sir. So this is nothing but minus B by A. Clear? Yes, sir. So this is for degree one. Now let's go to degree two. Okay. So these A comma B are called the coefficients of the polynomial. Okay. A and B are called coefficients of the polynomial. So here, what is the zero minus B by A? So zero of the polynomial is minus B by A. So now we are bringing a relationship between zero of polynomial with the coefficient of polynomial, right? Which is nothing but minus B by A. Here, A comma B are coefficients of the Clear? So now let's go to degree two. Let's say p of x equal to x square dx plus c. So here we need to use that midterm midterm splitting. Yeah, let me give you one p of x and uh, find out zeros and tell me. P of x equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 6. Princey, do it and tell me, okay? Yes, sir. So here you need to use the midterm splitting, right? Yes, sir. Sorry, two X. You're correct. <coughs> Shall I tell you? Let them do it again. <coughs> So the zeros are two x minus six and x minus one, sir. Uh, those are the x is equal to three. X is equal to three, sir. And uh, one, sir. Three. And one. one. Very good. <clears throat> x equal to 3 and x equal to 1. So I'm giving one more, yeah? Uh, Prince, do it. Yes, sir. We have x equal to 3x square plus 5x minus 2.
Uh, second, second one. So, yeah, Rohit, uh, can you come? Uh, can you come here and do it for the first one? Sir, first, sir. Sir? So, uh, Kaushik, yeah, for two also you, you found out? Finished, sir, yeah, for, for first, second one, sir. Yeah, you are doing second one or you finished the second one? I finished. Finish. So what are the what are the zero zero? Sir, uh, one by three and. So minus one. one. So minus one by three. One by three. And two. One by one by three. And two, sir. One by three and two is it? Minus one by three and two, sir. Minus one by three. Or one by three or minus two. Sir, minus one by three and two, sir. Is it not one by three minus two? No, sir. So, uh, if you... No, sir. One by three, if B of X, what is B of X? Or if you substitute minus two, minus two, minus two in P of X. P of minus two equal to three minus two whole square, five minus two, minus two. Three to four, minus 10, minus 12 minus 12 equal to zero. Yeah, check it again. It should be one by three minus two. Yeah. Let's say p of x equal to two x squared minus eight x. So, first we have to call multiplication and addition. So, as it is. So, what comes, what should be multiplied? And then for adding, so minus eight, so, so minus six and two just get minus six. Same what can be coming here? So minus six minus two. So now we should uh, substitute the uh, two x square. This should be and, uh, instead of this minus eight x, we should just find the values minus six x minus two x. So this plus six should be plus six. So as I said, for four terms, this four. So this split into two, yeah. and so what is the common here? It's x, and the remaining means two x, two x, and again and six. So which is this big gap? Uh, and uh, the same whatever comes here, we start with two 
x minus 6. So, which is a minus function. So, x minus 1 is one term, one factor, and 2x minus 6 is another term. X minus one is equal to zero. X minus one is equal to zero. Yes, Let's say P of P of X is equal to two X square minus eight X plus six. Yeah. First you need to multiply this first and last term. Yeah, if you multiply first and last term, what will be six into Two, x square will be twelve x. <coughs> now we need to split middle term <coughs> such that when you multiply two terms, it must be this twelve x square. So you need to split middle term into two terms sum of two terms okay then if you multiply those two terms again then the result must be same clear now we need to split minus 8x two terms and the resultant must be 12x squared so how can you split it minus 6x minus 2x to multiply them what will happen minus 6x into minus 2x is 12x So now, 2x square. Now we split it minus 8x into minus 6x minus 2x. Plus 6 is same, plus 6. Both are same, no? 1 and 2 are same, no? 1 and 2 both are same. Just we split it middle term into two terms. But, but both are same. That 6 is already there, no? Clear? Yeah. Now here, <coughs> you can take two x comma. Then it will be x minus three. In these two terms, you can take minus two comma. Then again, it will be x minus. Three. We are taking minus two, no? Hari? Uh, this, this x can be this one. Let's say you can take two x common. So two x can be plus one x. And two x and two x minus x. Just multiply it inside. Two x can be x. Minus 
again x minus three. Yeah, right, right. And then two x minus two. Here also again you can take two comma. Then finally it will be two into x minus three. Expense. So the, we need to equate this to zero to find out the zeros. So to equate to to become zero, we can be zero. I will put this. Then x minus three equal to zero. Or here x minus one equal to zero. So we take x minus three equal to zero. Then x will be three. So if x minus one equal to zero, then x will be Now, can you do it for uh, p of x equal to 3x square? 3x square plus 5x minus 2. 3x square plus 5x minus 2. Yeah, follow the same steps. So, the, can it again say it's a uh... Uh, Prince, that uh, p of x equal to three x square plus five x minus two. The same thing that that you did before. Me. That x equal to one by three x equal to minus two. Yes, sir. You already finished this one, right? P of x equal to three x square plus five x minus two. Oh, yeah, it's finished, sir. Yeah. So, what are the zeros? So, 1 by 3 and 2, sir. 1 by 3? 2, sir. Okay. Can you substitute the P, 2 in P of X? What, what is the value? Tell me. Sir, it's minus 2, sir. It's a minus 2, right, Kaushik? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, I didn't see my sermon told, so sir, sir. 
so once you get the zeros you submit you yeah substitute them in the prx and see whether it is zero or not that's the verification right okay sir otherwise sometimes uh, it will you will do some mistake okay sir <clears throat> So next one p of x is equal to x square minus five x plus six. Did you finish? <clears throat> yes, sir. Doing it, sir. So finish sir. No. Tell me, Kaushik, what are the factors? So the factors are x minus three and x minus two. X minus two. Yes, Very good. You finished. I got the same, sir. So yeah, factors are x minus three. X minus and x two. minus two. Zero, sir. Three and uh, two. Three sir. and two. Sir. Let me substitute uh, minus two. What's the value? Minus two.
So next one uh, for uh, yeah, who have already completed it's a two x square minus ten x plus four. Tell me, how she can. Okay, so one minute, sir.
Kunci. Yes, sir. One minute, sir. Kaushik. Yes, sir. Did, did you finish this one? Ah, yes, sir. Finish, sir. What are the factors? Sir, it's uh, 2x minus 2 and x plus 6. Sorry, 2x? 2x minus 2 uh -huh. and the x plus 6. It's a, it's a 2x square minus 10x plus 12, yeah? Yes, sir. I think there is something wrong, yeah, check, Kaushik. This is wrong. Multiply and check it. So I'm getting 2x plus 4 and x plus x minus 3, sir. Yeah, this is right. 2x minus 4 or plus, plus 4? Plus 4, sir. Should be minus 4. Check it. One minute, sir. Yes, sir, minus four, sir. I made a sign mistake, sir. 2x minus uh, 4, x minus 3. So what, what you need to do, no? You need to take a constant also aside. Let's say 2 into x minus 2, x minus 3. So here you can take out two common, no? First one. Yes, sir. So, if you, take, if you take out two common, it will be x minus two, x minus. Three. Okay, sir. So you must express in terms of k, x minus alpha, x minus beta, like this. Okay. Okay, sir. The, the final expression must be like this. Okay, sir. Now take p of x is equal to three x square minus fifteen x plus eighteen. So the, the first thing is you take out a common constant factor, yeah. Then okay, you do it sir. for the remaining thing. Then it will be easy for you. Let's say here, what is the common here? Three is common here. Yes, sir. Then once you take out common three, what what is the remaining uh, factor? Um, it's twelve, sir. Twelve x. No, take out three common. Three common. Yeah. So x square minus twelve. Twelve x square. X square. Minus twelve. Minus twelve. Uh? No, sir, 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 sir. Minus four, sir. Sir, x square minus, minus five x 
माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स तो डी सेम थिंग इज ओनली मल्टीप्लाइड विथ अ थ्री हाँ ओके सर ओके सर सो देन अगेन व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ़ दिस वन एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस ओके सर वेरी इजी नो यस so first you take out that uh, constant factor common and then do it for the remaining thing then it would be easy for you <coughs> so in the last thing also 2x square minus 10x plus 12 you take out two common x square minus 5x plus 6 that's why it's 2 into x minus 3x minus clear yes sir yes, sir Let's say p of x equal to six uh, x square plus ten x minus four. Yes, sir. You you are doing here. Yeah? Yes, sir. So here, if you take out two common, so what will be three x square plus five x minus two. Minus. So this is already you solved it. No, three x square plus five x minus two already you solved it. Which is x minus one by three plus two x plus. Plus x minus two. x plus two. Success. Check it again. Do some constant. Right. Six x minus six x minus one. Six x minus two. You're right. Then take out the constant common no? six six x. <clears throat> From six x, you take out the 
that's why express every everything in terms of k into x minus alpha into x minus beta So I am asking you to express uh, with a constant k into x minus alpha x minus beta. Means there should not be any coefficient here. There should not be any coefficient. Here. So you need to take out six common there. Are you getting the perfect and printing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. Sorry. You need to take out six, six common. No, I am saying there should not be any coefficient. Coefficient. Take out three six common. No, let it be x minus one by three. X minus one by three, right? Take out six common. What will what will be? X minus one by three. X plus x minus one by three. X plus. Six is towards the end. Towards six into x minus one by three into x plus two. <coughs> Anirudh, can you do it for x squared minus four x plus four? Square minus four x plus four. So yeah, this is clear. Yeah. So how to get the zeros from the equation of the polynomial? Yes, sir. So one thing you need to understand is, let's say, uh, if a polynomial p of x is k into some x minus X minus x minus alpha, x minus beta. Here alpha beta are uh, constants. So it has same zeros alpha beta. So whatever the k value, zeros won't change. Okay, whatever the k value, zeros won't change. K can be one, k can be two, k can be three. But uh, alpha beta, they are not. They won't change. Right. Let's say here. Let's say for x minus two, x minus three. Here k equal to one. Let's say I'm taking two into x minus two, x minus three. Here k equal to two. But the zeros are same. Here I take k equal to three, x minus two into x minus three. Here only k is changing, but zeros remain same. Right. So that's why I gave uh, two examples where I multiplied the uh, first equation with two and three, and I asked you to calculate zero. The zeros didn't change, right? <coughs> Vince, did you observe this one? Yes, sir. Now we are. Uh, now we want to find out uh, the relation between the coefficients and the zeros. Okay. So Anirudh, how did you split that uh, minus four x minus two x? Very good. Good. So what are the factors? X minus two. 
very good clear yeah so now yeah let's 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 go to the next section yeah hari you are clear now or i'll explain you okay let's go yeah so now we are uh, we want to find out the the relation between the coefficients and the zeros let's say p of x equal to x square plus bx plus c yeah what that now we are expressing ax square plus bx plus c as k into x minus alpha x minus beta right no alpha can be minus or plus no alpha can be minus or plus yeah alpha can be minus or plus no no issue yeah that's that's good question x can alpha can be minus or plus so no issue yeah. so x minus alpha into x minus beta yeah so now can you split it this one ha uh. ha huh? x alpha i am asking you to multiply it multiply x square minus beta x alpha x alpha beta <coughs> right it will be k x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta clear so now take k inside k x square minus k alpha plus beta into x <coughs> equal to x square so in order that if you say that two polynomials are equal their corresponding coefficient must be equal so x square coefficient must be equal x coefficient must be equal constants must be equal so a equal to k b equal to minus k into alpha plus beta c equal to k into alpha beta right k into alpha beta yeah so now what is uh, alpha plus beta minus, minus b, by b. b by k k is nothing but a very good now alpha beta is c by a this are the this is the relation note it down yeah this for quadratic only for quadratic <coughs> so here alpha plus beta so here what are the roots of the polynomial what are the zeros of the polynomial ah uh, zeros of polynomial So now we are established relation between the zeros of the polynomial with the coefficient. A, B, C are coefficients. Alpha, beta are zeros. Okay. Clear, uh, Princi and Kaushik. Uh, yes, sir. So what are the zeros of polynomial here, uh, Princi? Sir, alpha plus beta and beta, alpha beta. Alpha. Ah, uh, sir. Uh... If we are expressing alpha plus beta and alpha beta, can we say that zeros of the polynomial is minus b by a and c by a? No, here uh, we are expressing x square plus b x plus c is our polynomial. So k into x minus alpha into x minus beta, no? Okay, sir. There, uh, so what are the zeros there? Alpha beta, right? X minus alpha equal to zero. X minus beta equal to zero. 
Yes, sir. So alpha, beta, are the zeros. Okay, sir. Some constants. Constants. Okay, sir. There are some real numbers. Some real numbers. So that, that's what we are doing now. Using that midterm splitting. Finally, we are expressing in terms of some constant into x minus uh, x minus some constant or x minus some constant. No, that's what we are doing now. Yes. And finally, we are equating that to. So, uh, Prince, you clear here, yeah, Prince. Any doubt you can ask me, yeah, Prince? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got clear, sir. Now, now, now you got it, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah. Kaushik, you are also clear, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rohit, Rohit, are you clear? Here, alpha, beta, some real numbers. Okay. Like A, B, C, or some real numbers. Like that, alpha, beta, or some real numbers. Yeah? <clears throat> Have you noted noted down over? <clears throat> So I'm given p of x equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 6. So my, I'm asking you to find out sum of zeros and also product of zeros without calculating zeros. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> Principle, what is the sum of zeros? What's the what's the what's the, what's the... sir? Can I say sir? So we have just derived the der der derivation, right? Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Minus b by a. So what is uh, what is a here? X square. Two, two, two. No, two, just a coefficient. B is eight. Oh, oh, okay, sir. B is, B is minus eight, C equal to minus six. Eight, C is six. So here, uh, sum is nothing but minus B by A. Minus yes, B sir. by A. Minus, minus eight by A. Minus four, right. Minus four. Four. It's four, sir. C is six by A. Three. Three, sir. Three. Yes, sir. Also, you, you got uh, one comma three, right? Previously, have solved it. Zeros. You have solved this one, right? Check it. Already yes. have solved it. Sum will be 1 plus 3 equal to 4. Product will be 1 into 3 equal to 3. Yes. So do it for the next one equal to p of x equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. What is the sum of zeros, product of zeros? Plus 
the principal what is a here a is 3 sir uh, b 5 sir b 2 minus 2 sir what is sum sum is um sum is minus b by a is equal to minus 5 by 3 sir Uh, product product is um minus 2 c by a is equal to minus 2 by 3 sir very good very good yeah now you are clear yeah yes sir rohit okay, you are clear hari so what is the sum of zeros uh Minus two by three. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Product. So which is nothing but minus b by a. Sum is minus b by a. Product is c by a. Yeah. Nirut, clear. Derivation was clear before derivation. How we got minus b by a, c by a. Kaushik, derivation derivation was clear to you. Ah oh, yes. Prince, what about you? Derivation was clear to you. Yes, sir. So one more problem here. P of x equal to x square plus seven x plus ten. Okay. First you find out zeros, and then verify the relation between zeros and the coefficient. <coughs> yeah, yeah. First you do using factorization, find out zeros.
So what are the zeros? Prince, can you tell me? I think you have already done it. So I have done the factorizing midterm splitting and then I'm trying I'm verifying it now, sir. Okay, okay. What's the factorization? What's the factors? X. So I'm getting factors as x plus five and x plus two, sir. Uh, very good. Uh, now do it. What are the zeros? Yes, sir. Zeros. Minus five and uh, minus two, sir. Very good, very good. Uh, do it. Next do it. Verify it. Huh? Yes, sir. Then, uh, so I, uh, I got it uh, seven and ten, sir. So. Yeah, so you verified, right? Yes, sir. Very good. So now next next problem. We have x equal to x minus three, x square minus three. First, you find the zeros. Zeros and then. So, how can you express a square minus b square? Sir, uh, uh, a minus b, a plus b. So, we can write x square minus 3 is equal to x minus root 3, x plus root 3. Sir. Very good, very good. Now, what are the zeros? <laughs> no, one second, sir. Zero, sir. Minus root three plus root. That only, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Zero, sir. Minus root three plus root. Yes, sir. Now you verify it. Some sum of zeros and uh, product of zeros. So finish, sir. Yeah. Ah. sir, the sum is uh, sum of zero is zero and the product mm -hmm. is uh, minus three, sir. Product is minus three. Yeah. So my, uh, here uh, B is what? A is B is B is zero. C is minus three. B is the coefficient of x. Yes, sir. Uh, B is 0. That's why minus B by A is 0. Because B is 0. So you, you should always remember, okay? A is the coefficient of X square. B is the coefficient of X. C is the coefficient of constant. B is the con C is the constant. Yeah? 
so i can i can give like anything also like like yeah, p of x equal to i can give 3 plus x plus x square then you should not say that a equal to 3 hmm? yeah a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 3 so always you should remember whatever the order they give you should find this is the a this is b this is <coughs> Clear, yeah. Principle clear, yeah. Yes, sir. So now the next question, yeah. Example four. Find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are minus three and minus minus three and plus two. So if I give a zeros, how can how can I express a polynomial? I, I have given. I didn't give a coefficient. I gave you zeros. So if I give a zeros, how can I express polynomial? So we have. We should use a formula. Sir, we should use a formula. Sir. What's the formula? Sir, it's x square minus sum of sum into x uh, plus product. Sir. Very good. That that also you can do. Or also k into x minus alpha, x minus beta, right? Here k we don't know. X minus alpha is x x plus three x minus minus. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is the polynomial finally? K into sir uh, x square, square. Uh. plus three x plus two plus three x three x plus two sir. Is it right or wrong? <clears throat> so, uh, Kaushik here I have given these are the zeros of polynomial, these are not the sum of product. Okay. That's why we can express like this. These are alpha beta. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. It will be x square plus x minus six. Clear? Plus x. Minus six. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's say they are uh, first one is sum, next one is uh, product. Then, then, then you need to say that x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta. Then uh, that will be x square minus three x plus x square plus three x plus two into k. Yeah. Okay, sir. 
Sinti, you are clear? Yes, sir. I do, yeah, I do. So now, if I give a, if I give a polynomial, I can find out zeros. Yeah, if I am given with the zeros, I can find out the polynomial. Right? Or if I given a, like a graph, I can find out the zeros. From the zeros, I can find out the equation, polynomial. So these all things you must be clear. Okay. So now we have, till now we have seen for the quadratic. Now we'll see for cubic. So what is the uh, f x equal to a cube? A x cube x plus b x plus c x d. So here, let's say alpha, beta, gamma are zeros. Okay, here three three zeros will be there at max, right? Okay. So now alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. C by a. Alpha beta gamma equal to minus d by a. Note it down. These are the relations. <laughs> so next next class, uh, you prove this and uh, bring it to me. Okay, I need a proof of this in the next class. So let's say Kaushik. Yes, sir. Kaushik. Yes, sir. Let's say if alpha, beta, gamma are the zeros of the polynomial, how can you express the polynomial in terms of uh, zeros? Sir, I understand. Let's say alpha, beta, gamma are the uh, zeros of the polynomial, okay? Yes, sir. Then how can you express the polynomial in terms of zeros? Yes, sir. One second. Princey? Sir, I don't get it, sir. <clears throat> no, for, for the quadratic polynomial, uh, we know alpha beta are the zeros, then we express the uh, polynomial as k into exponent alpha into exponent beta, right? Yes, sir. So now alpha beta gamma are the polynomials of the quadratic uh, cubic polynomial. Okay, sir. Now how can you express the polynomial? X minus alpha, X minus beta, and X minus gamma. Very good. But you need to keep constant also, okay? K into X minus alpha. X minus beta, X minus one. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So, but in X plus beta is equal to minus B by A. So, uh, alpha plus alpha plus beta is equal to B by A, minus B by A, and alpha plus beta plus gamma is also minus B by A. So, what's the value of gamma, sir? No, no, no. That is for quadratic, this is for cubic, no? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. This is for cubic polynomial. That's quadratic. Okay, sir. I got confused, sir. So, uh, so just uh, for the proof, what you need to do is uh, you need to equate x x square x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d equal to k into x minus alpha x minus beta x minus gamma, and then you need to find out relation. Okay, sir. Kaushik, you are clear with this? Yes, sir. 
Ayrıca So now try one example here. Yeah? Let's say take a cubic polynomial. P of x equal to three x cube P of x <laughs> three x cube minus five x square minus eleven x minus three. Okay, zeros are three comma minus one comma minus one by three. Verify that these are the zeros of the polynomial. What you need to do to verify it? To verify these are the zeros. No, no, no. I'm asking verify that these are the zeros of the polynomial. What do you need to do? <clears throat> okay, the print is Kaushik. Yes, sir. How to verify that these are the zeros of the polynomial? Uh, sir, we can um, we can use trial and method error method uh, uh, by substituting the values three minus one and one by three in the, in the in the polynomial. You need to find out. You need to find out p of three, p of minus one, p of minus one by three, p of minus one. You need to show that there are zeros. Yes, sir. So we have to substitute the zero to all the x's. Uh, so and we have right. to get zero. Okay, right, so. right, exactly, exactly. Okay. That's the verification that these are the zeros of polynomial. Okay. Okay. And then so. verify the and, and then verify the relation. <coughs> relation with, with respect to the coefficients. That is alpha plus beta gamma plus gamma equal to minus b by a. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to b by a. Alpha beta gamma equals to minus b by a. Verify that.
So you got it? Then see? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm doing it, sir, but uh, I'm not quite getting it, sir. Did you get B of what is the B of three? One minute, sir. <clears throat> Yeah, minus one is do it properly, no? Kaushik. So for p of 3, it's 0, and for p of minus 1, is also 0. So p of minus and 1 by 3? It's also 0, sir. You got 0, right? Yes, sir. Very good, very good. So now you verify the relations, OK? Yes, yeah, sir. Alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by a. So here alpha, beta, gamma are alpha equal to three, beta equal to minus one, gamma equal to? Minus one by three, sir. Oh, very good, very good. <clears throat> Sir, 
So for alpha plus beta plus gamma, I'm getting phi by three, sir. Very good. Which is equal to minus b by a, right? Yes, sir. Very good. <clears throat> Then finish. So for alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha, I'm getting minus eleven by three, which is equal to C by A. Very good, very good. Okay. Next please alpha beta gamma. Yes, sir. I'm going to do so. Kaushiki, you are there or you are out of? Friends, you are done, yeah? Yes, sir. I'm getting uh, 3 by 3, which is equal to 1, and it's equal to minus D by A. Yeah, yeah. So, Friends, today you are very active, yeah? You should be like this only every day, right? Yes, sir. So, what happened to Vijay? I don't know, sir. She didn't come yesterday also, and today also. Oh. Okay, you finish that exercise 2.2 also. Okay, next exercise is there, no? After this problem. Yes, sir. So did, you, did you see this problem in the textbook? One minute, sir. I'll take the page. Yes, sir. Um, that uh, find the zeros of relationship between zeros and coefficients and uh, the sum of the product Quadratic right, right. Solve So yeah, next class we start this next session, section yes, the 2.4, the division algorithm for polynomials, okay? So with that, uh, this uh, polynomial section will be closed.
So if you have any doubts, yeah, you can ask me in the next class. Prince, you are there, yeah. Sir. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the next class, yeah. You solve those problems, okay? Okay, sir. Show me in the next class. Yes, sir. So we can finish for today, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, bye. Bye, sir. Yeah.